Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's Monday. It's Ladder Leverage Day. It's the day before the patch day, and we got uh, Anasama with us. How we doing today, sir? Hello, sir. I'm fine. How are you? I'm good, man. We had a we had a couple good games here uh, against two decks that are definitely everywhere right now. So if you're looking to make the last minute climb, Pincer Maneuver, Siege Draug should get you there. Hopefully. Fingers crossed before the season of love takes us over. <laughs> we'll see how much CDPR <laughs> loves Redea after the after the uh, dev stream tomorrow. But um, really, really good list, uh, really fun list, and uh, we'll we'll go through the cards for you. Um, right now, Siege, you know, you can uh, you. So the way you want to play this deck is you either want to go all in on a round with the humans or you want to go all in on the machines and it depends on what you got in hand correct that seems like a pretty fair assumption and unless you go up against like something really weird right <laughs> yeah i mean it's quite interesting how you have like two different kinds of strategies um uh, based around humans and siege, siege machines right and sometimes even you can in few you can play both in one turn like if you want run around for free or basically without much investment and then just go for a two zero yeah yeah um and it is a drag list so if, if if your opponent doesn't pick up once you drop a caravan down and they, if they don't know what's going on <laughs> they're in for a big surprise <laughs> Uh, but uh, it's it's just a really nice play, you know. One thing about the caravans you can't do though is you can't use your leader ability and play these from hand because they're not um, Northern Realms cards. So don't make that mistake. I did once, so learn, <laughs> learn from Devil's mistakes. Um, you got Falibor and Philippa, so that's always a good combo. Um, Queen Adelia, you know, you want to try to get your vanguards down with it, um, unless you know you're going for the the siege, you know, then you can maybe go Adelia into Carabalista first before you drop the siege, um, just to get something on the board, and then drop the siege and play your leader ability. It all depends, but it uh, it usually works out pretty good. Um, Bloody Baron, he's almost always going to find value. Um, you know, there are a lot of big cards out there. You know, people are running uh, Joaquin. You know the the thirsty dames get pretty big um lots of other you know taller units um mata you can uh, you pull the scenario then draug and then it's a one and three on falibor adelia and philippa if you don't have them in hand yet um reinforcements another one just pull what you need if you need more humans you go for the caravans if you need more machines you know you can pull another ballista or you can even pull two trebs if you want um, it's always pretty good uh, Sabrina is really nice with your leader because um, you could play you know say Draug from hand and then well you don't want to do it just yet um, you, you want to have your revenants up and going before you play Sabrina though unless you're doing machines correct yeah, like, um, it, it depends on the board state and what you have and what your enemy has, but you, you, like, you, you don't just don't want to drop it. You you want to make sure that you got a ping to kill it on the same turn, because your opponent exactly. can lock it, your opponent can transform it, who knows? <laughs> I mean, uh, sure, there will be... It too. That might yeah, be I mean, there are probably some rare cases where you have to go, like, extremely greedy, like, play every turn as greedy as possible. Because you just probably won't be able to win elsewise, but usually you want to play here when you have something that can ping her instantly when you play her. Right. So usually like playing Drog and then the turn afterwards you want to play her just so you get uh, max value uh, and the for a sure, lot of value. Just, the for sure and then value. just keep your revenants going. Right. Uh, the caravan, as you mentioned, you, you will pretty much always play these on back row. Unless it feels like, you know, maybe they're, you know, maybe they put a trap down on the board, I don't know, but... Um. Yeah, I mean, like, if you have one uh, caravan on board already, you can also play them just uh, front row if you want, like, uh, if you have to play around something that hits back row. 
Right. Or if you don't have the space, bad, uh, bad row, but... Yeah. Boiling it oil. should be fine, usually. Yeah, boiling oil, just a nice removal tool. Uh, Purify very rarely comes into effect, but, you know, you never know. It might, uh, it might yeah. get something off of them, a shield or something. Um, the Carablistas are really nice. They're just a nice proactive play. They got a, you know, five-strength body on them, so, you know, if they waste the boiling oil or something like that, that's less removal for their for the revenants you know so um pretty good um reinforced ballista it has formation so you can you know play it front row and get the instant value or play it back row and give it a buff um siege tower we actually just a mini spoiler in this game uh or in one <laughs> of the games we actually got the um crew ability i just i, I was telling Anna, I'd, i just never really get this to proc i don't know why crew seems like a good ability it just seems like it never fucking you never get it yeah i mean the, the main problem is like um you have cards like mola which are soldiers which proc the crew ability but then you also have royal guards that you want to play in uh, range row right. right because they get inspired so you get two more armor on something that you can protect so right like uh, you usually lose out on those uh Two armor and one point on uh, royal guard if you want to get the crew ability right um bomb heaver it's a if if your opponent does go greedy on their scenario you know you can pull this with your leader ability kill their scenario and play something else probably a very niche you know scenario where that's going to happen but it is a possibility um if it doesn't feel like you're going up against scenarios you know maybe just mulligan this away but you know, it all depends once again on the matchup. And then, uh, you know, your bottom cards here, Maulers, Enchantresses, Ballistas, you know, they just set up humans, worst case scenario, or they proc your scenario for machines. Uh, and then uh, the Royal Guards are all, all pretty good for openers as well, but a lot of times they die, so. Or you're just buffing up something for your opponent to poison, so. <laughs> <laughs> it all depends, but uh, really fun list, uh, you know, and this can be imported at teamleviathangaming.com slash meta. Mr. Aranda, I appreciate you coming through and playing some games. Always a pleasure. And uh, here's a couple games, though, guys. Like always, thank you so much for watching. We will see you at the end. Poison. I shall not repeat. I mean, Any that should mistakes. be good for us. Alright. Um, let's see. Uh, we can kick the Ballista. The three-point Ballista. And I think one of the Cabo Ballista, probably. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I mean, okay. Yeah. We just open with that, huh? The Ballista. Uh, so we don't depends. Give like, either the... Either the Ballista or the Royal Guard. I mean, there's also... Uh, okay, so it's the... We could also go for a Cabo Ballista, but... Uh, I think... Yeah, I mean, just go with the Royal Guard. Maybe we can bait out some early poison. Then we go Enchantress, Enchantress. Either that or Ballista and then Enchantresses. Oh, he's gonna matter early, huh? I mean, he does need to, but gives us a chance to, if he bypasses turn uh, or round two that we can use it. Um, so yeah, Enchantress and then. If only my pouch were to know no give it the buff, huh? Ends. Give it the buff. Like, it doesn't hurt, like, can. Uh, and get the other enchantress out. Is so the contract going? He king cobras. Possible. I mean, he could also play uh, thirsty dame or okay, nest so great wall. Let's dance, dance till the sun sings its morning song. Okay, so here we go. Mm. 
I think we just play the Ballista now. Damage the Thirsty Dame and then next turn we can play the Enchantress. We play around uh, Rot Tosser. Yeah. So that's what he, he they usually play them rot tossers round one. Oh, he's doubling up the bags. Mm, a superb yeah, specimen. I mean, Truly. should we just play enchantress and get the four buffs? Or if we play that, can we make it up? Philippa, huh? Uh, there's never a world where we play Philippa round one, though. We shouldn't, like, I think. If we, we want to play another card now, and then get out of the round. So we just play the Enchantress. Yeah. Play the Enchantress and use the ping on the Ballista. So he plays... Another one. Uh, wow. A taste of Northling, is it? His ladies are good to us, I guess. Alright, so we're out. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's that's time to queue out. That's a dangerous board. At least we get to mulligan away the, the gold. Yeah, I mean, he will. Or the gold will end up in our end anyway with Mata. But. Uh, I mean, we can counter Mata as well. So yeah, Guardian, go away. Uh, Do we drop the guard? I, I would kick the guard, yes. Uh, not much better. So here comes the Seer, yep. Yep. So we just play the Mauler. Yes, what is it? Where do we go, Caraballista? Ah. Or do we get I our scenario? Do we get our scenario online before his? Not yet, I think. Not yet. I think we just play it slow and go Mola. Could have settled this amicably, you know? We still got a lot of golds in the deck. We pull Siege. We can get Falabor or Queen Adelia with our leader ability. So he's going yep. leader ability. No. No, no, Rodwick. Let's see if he finds it. He the dog they dinners. always... Oh. He found an even I mean, better way to do it. He did it. <laughs> yeah. This dance, you will so we do the same it. then. We just... Yeah, we do the same and then use our ping. Because then we are ahead and then we can... <laughs> Threaten him in Fury. I also like how we played him back row so that uh, we can. We got another human body. Right. So, yeah, I think that the, probably next up we. If want you play, to play the Siege on melee, does the thing play spawn on melee? The... No, no, it always spawns range row. But yeah, I think we just want to set up humans now next, so probably Caravan. Rod Tosser. I mean, okay. I mean, then we can just play the Golem now and protect our Mata from poison. But do we want that? Ah. I think we can just play the Caravan next to Mata so that she doesn't get the poison. Like that. Yeah, and then next turn we can play another Lucky Wolver and need it. From and then Brauch afterwards. The snows. Uh. Yeah, at least he didn't have any dames online. Yeah, I mean, he used them all up. Or like... Well, he should've... I, okay. I would've just played the... There's the bull. That is... Oh, and leader. Please, oh. uh, of course, yes, Joaquim on top. That's good though. We got a bloody Baron target this round. Barbarians. Yeah. So. And he doesn't get the proc. Thinking can be hazardous to your health. 
So he kills the three. Okay for us, I think. Like we just play the other caravan. Huh? Mm. Or do we get the siege online? Now we don't. Well, I think we want to keep siege. Like we already have humans. Uh, yeah, I think we just play the caravan now. While we still have the the bomb. Yeah, while we still have. Uh, There's no way. We're, oh, we played over here. Our yeah. path over the earth by stars in the night sky is guided. So he plays. I wonder what he plays next here. Uh, I mean, he could play Cup Bearer just so that he gets um, one more here. Poison on our Mata or the Caravan Guard. And then he can play Vincent. Oh, I mean, that's... Oh, he can also... oh, he gets it twice, that's right. No, he doesn't. We flip him now, I, right? Yeah, yeah, now we play Drog. That was super greedy. <laughs> yeah. So we need we need eight right now. Philippa gets us there, so does Bloody Baron. Uh... Like we have five pings with our revenants. So he gets one lock. I think he's in trouble. Yeah, he's definitely in trouble. Let the hump begin. Uh, he poisons the seven. Poisons the seven. Do we just mm. fill up a now? I think we probably want to. Now, I think we want to play Bloody Baron with leader ability and then get Sabrina out of our deck. Okay, so we're playing Bloody Baron. Yeah. And get Sabrina. Yep. So we're playing Bloody Baron, resetting this, and yep, playing and Sabrina play... back row. Exactly, because there are more targets. I am ready. We hit her with the two first. Oh, I mean, okay, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't really matter to be honest, but. Do we keep going or save them? Uh, we saved them. Like, we have a good board now. We have four revenants. We lose a she seven can't. here with uh, Morel. But we can hire. We could just hit it with Philippa. There it is. Yep. So he poisons yeah, I mean, this. We just Philippa it, right? And then use the ping on in it. In my trade. I am he went fast. double! What a greedy bastard! <laughs> yeah, I mean, now we just flip it and. What a then greedy let's bastard. See. Calculated pings. Yeah, and. We used the two this time. This time and the six, because it's uh, poisoned. Yep. So he's got Vincent. Cup bear and what else? That's probably it to be honest. So we lose a seven. Like seven oh is it? Yeah, is it a We're still up. Yeah, I mean now we just play the golem. Like the guardian. Do we do any pings? Uh take out that yeah. two in the back. I think we can just ping our Philippa. And then we can just end the turn. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. What's messed up is if he pushes us, we don't we can't play our siege. Yeah, Swordmaster, but... no! Uh, I mean it's okay. Ten points. Because now we can just we play our revenants like our <laughs> we have enough one point revenants that we can just let them kill themselves. So we so like one for one, one for one. Exactly. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh. And we just play the Caribalista, huh? 
Uh, I mean, we can play reinforcements on the Revenant and play another one if you want to go. Does that, that gets us there by one. The yep. Oh, that Lambert stung! Woo! I mean, he got quite some nice value, I'm not gonna lie, but. Woo! I'm a happy guy right now. <laughs> that was nice, dude! Getting just Lambert the... and just regenerating the, the whole army. I yeah, like it. Uh... I like it. Uh... Oh, man. So we just dropped okay, this. Nice. What do we got left? We could still draw Thalibor. Thalibor. So, but so we... We, we want our mulligans. Like, we kicked the Royal Guard now, I think. And the oil. And huh? the oil. Just no bomb heaver. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we just go I... Adelia into Caraballista? Uh, nah, I think we just play the Caraballista. Oh? oh. Nah, I, th I think Adelia Caraballista is probably a little better. My great granddaughter will do great things. So if he has Rot Tosser, we got a semi-block with it, with the Siege. Yeah, but, but I think we want to wait another turn with Siege, because he can uh, Yennefer Invocation it. Right. Oh, that sucks. Ah, I'm better to just out, I guess. So we just play it again. Uh, I would probably play the normal Ballista. Just because it's uh, less value overall. Front row, huh? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Magni Division. So we play the Siege now. Huh? Yeah, we have to. Keep pinging Vincent, huh? Uh, I mean, we can ping back row as well, like... Uh, if it's alive, like, we can kill it next turn. He had it. But this yeah. keeps going, so we're okay with it. Exactly, so now we can just play the Cabo Ballista. And then finish with... Uh, the reinforced Ballista in front row. Just so it gets zeal. And we get one more ping out. So what's his last card's a uh, cobra? I mean, I don't even think we're gonna have to enough. play. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna. Have... I don't even think he's gonna be able to play anything. Yeah, we we got it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> good game, man. Really good highlight there, man. Because this is this is what it is, man. Right here, this tactical decision is the list. Ooh, and we sniped the <laughs> magnet. Uh, easy Good game. All right, let's try one more. Ooh, I got a savage bear out of it. Ooh. <laughs> Thing, I was doing pretty good with it. Ah! Mirror match. Listen carefully, oh, for boy. I shall not repeat myself. So, do we think they're a caretaker friend? Do we keep the bomb heaver? Um, I think we keep the bomb heaver. Drop the uh, like ballista. Since we don't probably. have Probably. Yeah, drop the ballista. Siege tower we can keep. I think we can keep the sand overall. And Mata pulls the scenario, correct? Yes. So we just lead off with the guard, probably? Most likely. But let's just see what he plays first. Carol Ballista. Okay. So this is gonna die. Probably so. Uh, how about we start off with Mola? Then uh, next turn we can play the World Guard next to him. And then the turn afterwards, if both of them survive, we can play the 
Siege Tower so that it gets the pure ability so it doesn't have the vitality but it instantly boosts uh, boosted to seven. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with my head. So what, Matt? This this deck does really well against like uh, uh, Nilfgaard poison and stuff because you could flip a lot of things around. Does it have the the cursed knight in it? No, no, no it doesn't cursed, uh, cursed need it. Like you have to balance out humans and uh, machines for your scenario. Yeah, and that's neat. But but right? but even then, like uh, you got the Draug to flip transform it. your uh, humans exactly. And it's not really that worth it to uh, poison your siege engines. Right. Like, sure, it, it gets them like 4 or 5 value usually, but... It lives! It's still fine, to be honest. <laughs> okay, nice. You wasted the ping. So, yeah, now we just play the Royal Guards next to the Mauler. Buff the Mauler, and then we can use the ping if you want. Fall and I'm not jumping in after you. Uh, Probably should, huh? Yeah, like we don't we don't have a reason not to use it. With the gin. <laughs> Very rarely do I ever get the the crew. Synergy. Yeah, same. I mean, in general, uh, uh, you won't often get crew <laughs> synergy with most cards, to be honest. But since uh, he already had uh, his Cabo Ballista, I was thinking like, it doesn't really make sense to play the Royal Guard back row, if he's gonna get pinged anyway. Right. So yeah, instead we can just use it to get the... Uh, crew ability. What? The crew ability. So this is Draug, huh? Why would you play this Long live the king! I mean, it's more like the... Uh, oh, the most important part is probably uh, Wadeya list. Maybe even Troop. So, um, yeah, we drop the siege tower. So we're down by seven, eight, really, because it's going to bump up one more time. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> You bastard. So how do we make this up? Uh, it kind of sucks, but we can use Adalia on the caravan. On back row. That should win 9 points and exactly one uh, ahead of him. There are things in the universe of which even the sages have not read. Yeah, that was a good pass on his part. Yeah. <laughs> But let's see, I think if we can get like Draug, Scenario, or Baron, or like two of uh, those three cards, we are in a pretty good spot. There's Draug. Okay, nice. Do we drop the Enchantress? Or do we drop the uh, Guard? I would probably rather drop the Enchantress. Okay, uh... Do we kick the bomb heaver? Do we tempt fate? <laughs> <laughs> I think we... I would probably rather kick the royal guard. Oh. Okay. Mm. So we're bleeding. We go... Yeah, Mata. I think... We... I, oh, I'm we can't because he has yet. 10. Yeah, because of 10 yeah, cards. That as well, but uh, I think... This turn we are trying to go for humans mainly, so that we can get uh, a good Drog. So I think we just start off with the Caravan in back row. And then uh, reinforce and then reinforce knows. Yeah, reinforcements, then... Or, or probably first um, Enchantress, then reinforcements, and then... Um, oh yeah, it's shoot draw. for sure. Take any yeah, yeah. This is 100% super at this point, or where they are. So yeah, I think we 
first want to play uh, Enchantress now, just so that we can get uh, the maximum vitality out of her. And then just after one of the two caravans, the next turn we can play. If he plays Shoop, uh, well, three damage, those two of them will still live, right? Yeah. And also, if he does that, we can still uh, just pass because we're on seven cards. And then we have. Then he traded way worse than uh, we did. Yeah, he traded shoot for boiling oil. Ouch. I mean, okay. So, yeah, now reinforcements. And just continue to stack the back row. Is there any. Certain positioning, or it don't really matter, huh? Uh, I don't think so. Over the earth, my stars and it's gonna be Drow next, huh? So if he yeah. fill up us, yep. So we lose two of them. Maybe. Maybe we keep them. Oh. <laughs> nope. We. Mm. What do we have left in deck? Uh... I think we got Baron and Scenario and Sabrina. Um, is this where I mean, we get out? Probably, like, he used flip already, we didn't. Also, we're getting last say. So, I think it's probably a pretty good pass. Simply because we still got our flip by hand and he doesn't. <laughs> and if we just find one of our three goals now, we pretty on. much. <laughs> I mean, sure he doesn't need that card in this matchup. Mm -mm. But Poison's everywhere, though. Yeah, but we aren't uh, Cobra Hensel here. Right, right. Like, uh... Well, okay. we got our machines. So, we kick the Ballista, the three-point Ballista. Baron's good. So Just Baron, nice, nice. So I we, mean, if we get scenario, and we we could pull Sabrina in one turn with our leader, right? So we just keep this. Yep. So we keep this, yes. And then we can even start off with one of the Cowal Lister because we still have two of them. Oh boy. Uh, okay, sir. Gimme. Ah, that was that's about even. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And um, so not, yeah, we just start off just... Mata. I mean, we can play Marta or Cabo Ballista, but I think Marta's probably better, especially since he plays stuff like Ophiri Merchant. Yeah, plus two, it gives us more uh, Music more on our Connect folk yep. to one siege. Hand. Manlet! Okay. Okay. <coughs> you going ahead. Think on ah! me so we go siege. Not yet. I, I think we just play it slow and play one of our Cabo Ballistas. Because we have three Siege Engines in hand anyway. So if we can get one to stick before we play our other two, we get one point extra on the Bombardment. If he doesn't have a Bomb Heaver, that is. Yeah, the Bomb Heaver is going to hurt. And I think... Uh, but we always go was... for... We always go for Sabrina and... Like Fallible or something, right? Last save. Uh, as long as we have the room. It depends. Like Here if he go. sets up. Okay. So he's going. S Ked Winnie Sergeant. Interesting. Into Thunder. Okay. <laughs> Questionable. So he used the uh, out of hand damage. If we play this though. Well, he already played Philippa. Shoop, yeah, yeah. Shoop's questionable. Um, yeah, I think we can just go with uh, Siege into, or, or like, lead ability into Siege and play. So we're yeah, going I mean, lead ability into Siege, pull Sabrina, and just play another machine. Okay, huh? Ballista, yeah. And uh, play the Tenarian back row because I think we want to stack our humans in melee group. Like we have like three left or four, so. 
it sucks we're hitting armor, but... Yeah, I mean... Oh, the iris! Didn't see that one coming, to be honest, but it's fine. You know what sucks, though, is we play ah! Sabrina and it gets three armor. We're gonna have to use Falibor to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> that That's fine. I, I mean... Uh, is, this, can... is this our Philippa turn to kill that? Yeah, probably. I, I think we first activate our battering ram. Like we have a one in three chance to hit uh, mantlet. Calculated, huh? Okay. So we fill um, up a now. Yeah. Philip and I think we Back just row. high roll. Front row. Uh, uh, I mean, now we can play a back row because we don't have siege anymore. Just kill it. And then dipping on I will see him. Yeah, that was a little spooky there. <laughs> Shoot! What's he going yeah, with? Yeah, smash, smash. Four damage, three times three, huh? Nah, mage transformed the uh, white most guard. Easy. I guess he can go uh, weather too. Weather might mess us up. But what weather? Through mage oh. or from hunter? <laughs> Lucky so unit. He just kills the trap. Oh, he locks the trap. I mean, okay. Like, it, it isn't really a loss for us, but. So we just play uh, the ballista, huh? Uh, I think so, yeah. Front row or back row? Front row, huh? I think front row is probably better because we have humans already in back row. Hit. Just hit mm. shoot or hit Sabrina? Or... I think we keep it. Like if he plays another three, we can set up Falibor. We're gonna have to use Falibor for the Sabrina. I mean, we could also keep the charge on uh, this for Sabrina. I mean, to be honest, we, we we want to play Falibur first, and afterwards we want to play Draug, and then with Draug's Revenants we want to kill Sabrina. Oh, that's right, yeah, I keep forgetting we have Draug. Once I, once we lost the Caravan guys, I'm like, man, the Draug is... Oh, he yeah. went on Sace. Punished. I mean, it's fine with us, he continuously rolls like a front roll, so... Um, let's see. Do we just play Bloody Baron back row, greedy? I mean, we can just go Falibor, hit his Iris, and shoot. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably the play to go. And then next turn, we can play Draug in back, back row. row, right? Yeah. yeah. The traitors will pay for what they do. That's not bad. Do we think he has a scenario or an artifact? Probably not, huh? He would have played it a while ago. Uh, I mean, that's still a chance. But, uh... Redea into... Back, Back row. Back row. Okay. Well, we got a bloody bear target now, at least. Yeah, that's true. I mean, now we just play the Draug back row. The next turn we can like hit our Philippa. Or like we can play Sabrina. Use the one point revenant to kill the Sabrina and then kill our one point revenant. Back row bloody baron, huh? Or front row? I think it's back row. Yeah. I mean... We don't have anything boosted yet, so... Yeah, he's uh, just gonna bump up the shoot. Mm. Let me just drop the bomb heaver now. Front row. And ping one, the one. True, I, I think we... Uh, yeah, we played the bomb heaver. Then we use the one point revenant to ping the baron. So he doesn't boost it anymore. And then we can kill our weapon. I smell a leak. 
We keep the seven, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, now we get Ignite and then uh, we cry, probably. Oh. Falabor. So he gets a three and a two. I shan't fail. I cannot fail. Okay. So we have to take the Sabrina now. Huh? But then he just gets Bloody Baron for free. Yeah, I mean, we can just play Bloody Baron front row now and reset his merchant. Are we afraid this dies though when we have a dead Sabrina? I mean... What if he has... He played Boiling Oil and Thunder. Where does he get 5 damage he, from? He shouldn't. Like... Famous last isn't. words. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we're... <laughs> Alright. Here we go. So he resets shoot. This is super greedy, dude. Vincent Mays! Okay. Is this... We... Uh, gotta go with your gut. Is it enough? But I think we still win. Is it enough? Yeah, yeah, it should be enough by like two points. For the king! Four, okay, four points. points. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Damn. Good Let's game. See. Good game. Enjoy your shoot for day while you can, sir. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. That's the video for today, guys. Mr. Andasama, we appreciate you, sir. Uh, thanks for playing some games. Um, definitely check Always out. Always glad to be here. Yeah, dude, we, we enjoy having you. Um, definitely check out uh, teamofithangaming.com. Uh, patch today. Uh, this will probably be out before the um, dev stream. So um, we'll see what happens. If you need to make that last minute climb, you know, you can try and use this list. All new stuff coming, big changes. So get ready and definitely just check out Team of Ithan Gaming for all your Gwent needs. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time.